I was out here picking peppers this morning and it occurred to me that I hadn't really done any videos on harvesting so I thought I'd just show you what I picked this morning and talk about some of these peppers a little bit. This one over here you might recognize that's a poblano. Uh, I bought that plant. It's one of the few that I didn't start from seeds. And then I have the Oda. That's one of our favorite peppers. It's a sweet pepper and it's very productive. We still have lots of peppers still on the plant. All of these were off of one plant, by the way, and there's probably at least twice that many still on the plant. And then uh, over here we have a bell pepper called Emerald Giant, and I only grew the one. Um, and the plant's not a giant, and the peppers aren't giant size, so I'm not sure if the name is really accurate or not or maybe mine just didn't do as well as some folks but this is the biggest one I had on the plant haven't tasted one of those yet then we've got the albino bullnose it's a sweet pepper bell type pepper and uh, I just did a taste taste test on it recently so if you want to check out that you can I'll put a link at the end of the video and it's a pretty decent productive uh, small pepper on a small compact plant it's doing pretty well and as of right now I probably I'll probably grow it again next year and then we have this Santa Fe Grande it's a hot pepper it's uh, not super hot some some people say it's almost has no heat and some people I've heard say it's really hot um, mine seem to fall somewhere in between there but it's very productive and the plant is getting tall enough now where I'm thinking about giving it some support it's uh, got so many peppers on it all of these were off of one plant and they will uh, start out this very light yellow cream color and then they'll switch to orange and then later to red so it they can be pretty colorful later in the season. Then we have one called Korbaki. I think that's probably how you pronounce it. They get really uh, twisted and curled in kind of all directions. Uh, they start out this color. I just picked one this morning just to kind of show you what they look like. Uh, still have quite a few on the plant and they're also a sweet pepper I've heard they're very good uh, for cooking so we might give that a try hopefully soon then I have one here called Buena Mulata and it's a hot pepper and it uh, starts out purple and then it'll go through several color changes uh, haven't got to any color but purple but we've got quite a few of those still on the plant then we have this hybrid and I was able to confirm uh, recently uh, that these are an Oda which is this sweet pepper crossed with some sort of hot pepper it could be a black Hungarian could be uh, jalapeno could be a poblano but uh, we know it was a cross with a hot pepper because these are hot but that's the confirmation on where where uh, this came from is uh, thanks to uh, some friends of mine. Uh, they grew some seeds out and uh, kept track of them a lot better than I did. Uh, I didn't label my plants because they were all so different. I knew I could recognize them once they started to bear fruit, but I wasn't expecting a hybrid to pop up. But it's an interesting plant because because. Uh, one of the parents was an Oda, so it's a cool little accident. But that's just the look at uh, some of the peppers I picked this morning. I have a few more over here, but that's uh, one day's harvest. And next month, August, the month of August is usually the best month for us, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how many peppers we can produce. But that's just kind of a overview of some of what we've got out in the garden of course I haven't picked every every type of pepper yet because some of them are just a little bit behind but 
that's what we have if this morning. just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe otherwise like comment and share we'll see you next time